He talks about the carbon footprint. And yet he'll fly a very old Air Force One, an old Boeing 747 with the old engines and, you know, spewing stuff. He's got a problem with the carbon footprint. You can't use hairspray because hairspray is going to affect the ozone. So I'm trying to figure out, let's see, I'm in my room in New York City and I want to put a little spray so that... <laughs> Hairspray. They want me to use the pump because the other one, which I really like better than going bean, 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 and then it comes out in big globs, right? And it's stuck in your hair. And you say, Oh my God, I gotta take the shower again. My hair's right. I want to use this. They say, Don't use hairspray. It's bad for the ozone. So I'm sitting in this concealed apartment, this concealed unit. You know, I have really do with a very nice apartment, <laughs> but it's sealed. It's beautiful. I don't think anything gets out. And I'm not supposed to be using hairspray. But think of it. So Obama's always talking about the uh, global warming. That global warming is our biggest and most dangerous problem. Okay? No, no, think of it. I mean, even if you're a believer in global warming, ISIS is a big problem. Russia's a problem. China's a problem. We've got a lot of problems. By the way, the maniac in North Korea is a problem. He actually has nuclear weapons, right? That's a problem. We've got a lot of problems. We don't win anymore. We're going to win a lot. If I get elected, we're going to win a lot. We're going to win so much. We're going to win a lot. We're going to win so much, you're all going to get sick and tired of winning. You're going to say, oh, no, not again. I'm on again. You never get tired.